and this problem we have a vat of liquid adamantium and we want to find out what the pressure is at the bottom of the vat. Now we're told that above the vat the tank is open and the pressure is atmospheric pressure which is one atmosphere which is 1.01 times 10 to the 5 pascals. We're also told that the density of the liquid, so this is a rho, it looks like a P, but it's a rho, is 7874 kilograms per cubic meter. The height of the vat is 4.2 meters. So we have this, this height of the vat is also the height of the adamantium. So we know that we have the formula pressure 2 equals pressure 1 plus rho g. H. So this is the formula that will tell you the pressure in a liquid of any deeper point. Basically, just based on the height of the liquid and the pressure you're at. So you pick any pressure in this liquid, pick the distance less, and you can figure out the next pressure. So all I have to jump into this formula is pressure 1, 1.01 times 10 to 5 pascals. I'm going to add a rho times g times h. So plus, I'll have to put this on a different line here, rho, which is 7874 kilogram per cubic meter times g of 9.8 meters per second squared and height of 4.2 meters. So we add these up, we get a value of pressure 2 at the bottom of that is 4.25 times 10 to the 5 pascals. Now if we want to compare that to atmospheric pressure, we can convert into atmospheric pressure by doing a unit conversion, so pascals to atmospheres. So we put in how many atmospheres per pascal to cancel them out. So we know in one atmosphere we have 1.01 times 10 to the 5 pascals. So we do that and we can say that second pressure is also equal to basically 4.0 atmospheres. And this is rounded to two significant digits because we have two significant digits here. So this should actually be 4.3 times 10 to 5 pascals. That final answer.